All right. Hey guys, so before I react to another rugby video, I think I'm going to go ahead and learn how to play so I can at least um, maybe appreciate it, have some kind of something to say. So I found this video, uh, Rugby Union Rules for Americans. Perfect. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why they call it Rugby Union. Let's watch. If you're used to watching American football, I am. or just want to learn more about rugby, this I video do. will give you some of the basic knowledge you need to understand the game. Okay. Rugby is played by 15 players on a field or pitch, 100 meters, about 110 yards long. 15 players on each team or 15 players total? Seems weird that there would be 15, an odd amount. And 70 meters, about 80 yards wide. The end zones, or end goals, are usually 22 meters long. In rugby, the goal is to score a try, which is similar to a touchdown. A try. A try is scored when a player touches the ball to the ground inside of his opponent's end goal. Okay, I got that a right. A try is worth five points, and its conversion, similar to an extra point in American football, is worth two. Players may also right. score a drop goal, similar to a field goal. Hmm, that was weird how it touched the ground. Does it need to bounce off the ground? Maybe I'll find out. By drop kicking the ball over the crossbar and between the posts of their opponent's goal. A drop goal hmm. is worth three points. Like in American football, after a score and to begin both halves, there is a kickoff. The ball is drop kicked from the halfway line and must go at least 10 meters. Once it does, it's anyone's ball. It is similar. It's relatively similar. American football. Unlike American football, okay. when a rugby player is tackled, the game does not stop. Right. The tackled player must immediately let go of the ball and place it on the ground. That's Both weird. teams then have a chance. What if he doesn't? Like, what does immediately mean? What if What if he takes a few seconds? That's to gain possession of the ball. Players from both teams attempt to step over the ball and push the opposing players away. <laughs> this allows players not engage in the contest to reach for the ball and pass it to their teammates. This contest is called a ruck. Players <laughs> pushing in the ruck may not touch the ball with their hands. Players not That's engaged so in the ruck dangerous. must wait behind the last <laughs> feet of the rucking players. Once the ball is out of the ruck, the ball is live, and players may make a play on the ball from any point on the field. Scrums. Rugby has two basic ways of moving the ball between players, passing and kicking. In rugby, players may only pass the ball backwards. Okay, somebody said that in the if comments. If a player throws or fumbles the ball forward, Makes sense. known as a knock-on, the opposing team is awarded possession of the ball. Okay. Blocked or charged down kicks are not considered knock-ons. Okay. When a player throws a so that's like the only time, like the the play continues and continues until something like that happens. Forward pass or knocks on, the opposing team is awarded a put in to a scrum. The scrum is a contest of strength and technique, what? where players bind tightly together <laughs> and push against the opposing team's pack. It's like the ball sumo is wrestling. Or put in between the packs, and each team attempts to push the opposing team back and rake the ball backwards towards their side with their feet. So the ball weird. may be kicked forward at any time during play. To be eligible huh. to participate in the ensuing play or to be onside, players must be behind the kicker when he kicks the ball or must wait for the kicker to run in front of them. Okay. That's interesting. When a player carries or propels the ball out of bounds, or into touch. My cat Their was uh, trying to open the door and the door the ball sec. out of bounds or into touch. Their team loses possession and the opposing team is awarded Whoa. the throw in to a line out. In <laughs> a line out, the... opposing players line up one meter apart from each other at the point the ball went into touch. The ball is thrown straight down the middle of these two lines and both teams lift their jumpers what? into the air in an attempt to get possession of the ball. Whoever invented this game is very creative. 
Just like American football, rugby has special rules concerning when the ball is downed inside or goes through the end goal. When the ball is kicked into the end goal and is downed by a receiving player or goes across the dead ball line at the back of the end goal, similar to a touchback in American football, the receiving team is awarded a 22-meter dropout. Okay. During a 22 dropout, the ball is drop kicked from anywhere behind the line 22 meters from the goal line or try line. Unlike a kickoff, the ball does not need to go 10 meters before being touched. The ball may be drop kicked just across the line and picked up by the kicking team. When the ball is brought by a team into their own end goal and becomes dead, similar to a safety in American football, mm -hmm. the opposing team is awarded a scrum five meters from the try line. Huh. In rugby, illegal actions are known as penalties. A penalty or knock Common on in word. rugby does not immediately stop the game. If the referee determines that the team that would be awarded the penalty would benefit from the game continuing or okay. playing on, I like he that. will wait to stop play until it becomes clear Every if an advantage do that. is gained or not. If an advantage is gained, the referee will call advantage over and the game will continue. If no advantage is gained, the referee will stop play and bring the penalty back to the spot of the foul. Most Smart. penalties are taken as either penalty kicks or penalty goals. Both penalty kicks and penalty goals are taken from the spot of the penalty. A penalty kick is taken as a free punt. If the ball is kicked into touch on a penalty kick, the team that kicked it gets the throw in to the line out. A penalty goal is an attempt to kick the ball from the ground or a small tee into the opponent's goal. A penalty goal is worth three points. That's interesting how they have to do it from there an angle. There are many rules in rugby not covered in oh my this gosh. video. Just punch them in the head. Don't feel overwhelmed. After a little bit of exposure to the game, the rules will come together and you'll be able to enjoy the game for what it is. Interesting. Fun game. Very dangerous. I like how it's... It's music. <laughs> I like how it's a relatively simple game, but then they have all these ridiculous, like, interesting rules where you do a scrum and you all try to kick it with your feet and the ball's in the middle of you and uh, you throw it down the lines of the two people and they lift you up. That definitely would keep it interesting. Um, very cool. Very cool. Uh, I, I never would have understood that without...